Welcome to Dr. Charles Speaks, a podcast for now. You've joined us for a special series of transformational talks, selected exclusively from Dr. Charles' corporate success calls. The 15-minute calls are designed to encourage leaders, activate your thought life, and prepare you for the challenges ahead. Dr. Charles joins every call with a blend of his personal experiences, his expertise as a John Maxwell certified mentor and coach, and of course, his more than 30 years of exceptional experience in both corporate America and ministry. Get motivated with Dr. Charles Speaks, a transformational talk from the red line on today's podcast, inspiring excellence and generating results. Good day, my friends. I can never stop saying thank you enough for joining me. I don't take that for granted, my friends, and I'm just glad to have the opportunity to share with you, and certainly my purpose is to uh, continue to challenge you in your own personal leadership growth. I hope I'm doing a good job. You know, it begins with me. I, I've got to study, and I've got to learn, and I've got to observe to do, and I'm hoping that you're taking in the information and uh, observing to do. That's what counts. Our actions speak louder than our words. And so on today, I want to talk to you about uh, the subject of true grit. Positive leaders have true grit, and that's G-R-I-T. As I've said before, I've told you I've been reading this book by John Gordon on positive leadership. It certainly has gotten my attention, and I've been absorbing myself in his reading, in his writing, and uh, I'm just sharing some of those highlights and things that I picked up along the way that I believe will help you. Someday I may even write my own book, uh, just stay tuned, but I'm gathering so much great information, and it's making me better, and and prayerfully, it's making you better as well. And so, we're talking about true grit. What do you mean, true grit? Uh, It's not talent. It's not your title. It's not how much money, how much wealth you have. It's not good looks. I'm talking about true grit. Grit is the ability to work hard for a long period of time towards a goal. It means to persevere and overcome and keep moving forward in the face of adversity, in the face of failure and rejection and obstacles. We're talking about grit, and we all must have grit because that's going to be the thing that we need going forward. And so as we make our way along life's journey, we're going to have to work hard. There's no doubt about that. And Nothing's going to be given to us. We're going to have to work for it, and we're going to have to persevere and overcome because there will be obstacles along the way. But I've been saying for the last several months, keep it moving. Keep it moving forward, and that's what you want to do. Angela Duckworth's research at the University of Pennsylvania identifies the word grit as the number one predictor and factor of success. We're talking about grit, and grit simply is having the passion, having the perseverance for long-term goals. Never give up. It may seem like it's not going to never happen, but you just keep on going because you have what we call true grit, and grit keeps you moving. You've got to move forward. If you're going to fall, if you're going to fail, just fall and fail forward. And that's the key, because moving forward through the sting of rejection sometime and the pain of failure and the struggle with adversity, just remember this, when life knocks you down, you may want to stay down and give up. But listen, true grit won't let you quit. And that is the key today. And what I'm talking about is having the true grit and to stick with what you've got going and see it all the way to the very end. If you can see it, you can get there. But if you take your eye off of the destiny and off the prize, you can wander off the road of life and get lost. And I want you to stay focused and make your way along this life journey and reaching your goals, your aspirations, and getting there. But when you get there, you don't stop and give up. You continue on and keep moving. You know, I've said this before. Success doesn't happen overnight. It just doesn't happen. You talk to anybody that's ever done anything, that's ever made any uh, uh, anything out of their life, they've had to work at it. 
and they've had to practice as uh, Lou Holtz, the former football coach of Notre Dame, he says focus is so important and W-I-N, win, what does that mean? What's important now? And so anything worthwhile, it takes time to build. So keep it moving. That's what I'm saying today and have grit about it. And so, number one, positive leaders, I've said they have grit because they find a way to navigate the roadblocks or run through them to move closer to their vision and their goal. And so no matter what the sign may say or may read, it might say detour. You may have to get off the exit and detour, but get back on and make your way to your destination. When you think about Starbucks, you know Starbucks, Uh, You may have had a Starbucks this morning, but it did not reach its fifth store until 13 years into its history. It took them 13 years to obtain five stores. Now they have thousands of stores across the world. You remember Sam Walton, the founder of Walmart? There's some over 4,000 Walmart stores in the U.S. alone. But Sam Walton, he did not open his second store until seven years after starting his company. It takes true grit, my friends. It doesn't happen, success that is, overnight. Remember Pat Summit, the Tennessee head basketball coach for the Tennessee Volunteers? Legendary women's coach at Tennessee didn't win her first championship, get this, until her 13th year of coaching. Some of us perhaps would have given up and threw in the towel. But Pat Summit, she continued on. And remember Sweeney from Clemson. They lost 15, head coach of Clemson. He lost 15 of his first 34 games and went 6-7 and seven in going into that third year. He actually thought he was going to be fired by the Clemson athletic director. But he continued to believe, he continued to strive, and after that turbulent time and perhaps on the verge of getting fired from the Clemson football program, uh, he won at least 10 games every year, and you know the rest of the story. He's won a couple of national championships. Oh, let's pull another one out, the hat. Remember John Wooden, the head coach of UCLA? Well, guess what? He didn't win his first national title until his 16th season. Wow. Think about it. I'm encouraged about it because I've been waiting on some things to manifest itself. I've been on the backfields working hard, and someday I know that things will pay off. And so you got to have the grit we're talking about. And whether you're attempting to turn around a company or to grow up a startup company or to build a winning team or to move a successful organization to the next level, you can expect it's going to take time and it's going to take perseverance, and you're going to have to stick to it. And you're going to need some encouragement along the way. That's why it's good to have someone uh, holding you accountable and saying and asking the questions, how are you doing? To keep you focused and to keep you moving. Number two, I want to talk about know what you want. This is what's so important because I think about I just attended a career fair and was recruiting for my company uh, talent to come into our organization. And there were over a 100 or so uh, different companies there at this career fair and students, seniors getting ready to graduate, uh, coming through and stopping by the booth and uh, asking about uh, opportunities uh, to come work for my company. And uh, what we're looking for in that conversation is that they know what they want. Uh, it just sometimes students, after paying thousands of dollars over a four-year period of time, you'd be amazed, some of you parents, I wish you could see it on video, uh, how the students sometimes are not prepared to go after a career and to get themselves in position to be offered an opportunity and to pay back some of those loans that perhaps you had to take out to pay for their education. But when you know what you want and you can see it, you'll work hard 
You'll persevere in order to achieve it. So when we have students come, we're looking for the gleam in their eye that they have done their research and they they know what they want and they articulate why they want it and they articulate how they are interested in being a part of the organization and what they can bring to the organization to make us all better. And those students are the ones that get behind the curtain, so to speak, and get a chance to have a face-to-face, sit-down interview and and get an opportunity to have an offer in hand uh, upon graduation. And so it's so important that when you have true grit, you can be strong, you could be forceful, but you've got to know what you want in life in order to achieve it. Number three, know your why. What do you mean, know your why? When you know why, you're going forward while you're pursuing X, Y, and Z. You won't let obstacles get in your way. When your purpose is greater than your challenges, you won't give up. So that's a fact. You got to know the what. You got to know the why. And when you're able to buy in to both of those and let it become a part of your DNA, a part of your everyday action, and making your way forward, you'll make it because that has become what you have become. And that is a person with conviction, a person with vision, a purpose, and purpose that is. Next, having to know what you want and to know why you want it, you've got to love it. If you don't love it, you'll never be great at it. If you don't love it, you won't work You won't put in the time to overcome all of the challenges to keep doing it. So if you love what you do, you won't quit, even when the world says you should. But if you continue to show up every day, I guarantee you, you'll start seeing improvement. And that's what it's all about. It may seem like nothing is happening in the beginning, but you will see improvement if you keep at it. The next thing I want to talk about is the reality of failure, because there are things in life, they're part of the journey, you're going to fail. I've often failed, but it's not the mistakes that you make that people are going to judge you by. It's going to be what you did to overcome those mistakes. So a big part of positive leadership and grit is knowing that you will fail, along the way, but don't allow failure to define you or stop you. You know, even though failure is a big part of our lives and the path that we take from day to day, failure really isn't our enemy. It's really our partner in growth. Think about that. It's our partner. What do you mean? It's our partner in growth. It doesn't define you. Failure refines you. Did you hear that? Failing doesn't define you. It refines you. So, my friends, the path to greatness is never behind you. Just keep moving. Keep doing the things the right way. Trust the process. And when you keep doing things the right way, guess what? Eventually, you'll see the numbers will rise, the winds will come, and the positive outcomes will happen. I like to leave you today with this. Ignore the critics. Do the work because history doesn't remember the critic. It remembers the one who withstood criticism to accomplish something great. My friends, I hope this has helped you. We're talking about true grit. Let's get the grit going and get the moving to reach that destination that you have set your sights on. You have been listening to Dr. Charles. This is The Red Line, and truly, I believe it's made a difference in your life today because you have true grit. God bless. Thank you for listening to Dr. Charles Speaks. Visit drcharlesred.com for booking info for your ministry, business, or leadership team. Get info about The Red Line, a 15-minute corporate success call each Monday morning with Dr. Charles. Follow Dr. Charles on all social media at Dr. Charles Red. Subscribe to the podcast here for every episode of Dr. Charles Speaks. Thanks for joining us. Like Dr. Charles always says, no matter what, never, never, never give up.
Until next time. <laughs>